Welcome to the February 10th CPC meeting. Um, as we always do, we begin with general public comment. Seeing no general public present, we will move on to the approval of minutes for our January 20th meeting. Is there a motion? Approval minutes of uh, January 20th. Is there a second? Um, Deb would like to take out a sentence that just would make it look better if I could let me Please. Um, it's uh, probably just a it's just, it's just an editing thing. Did you read it? I probably did say that, but it doesn't go very well with the Senate before it. And both would be better switched right there. Okay. Is it worth repeating to us? Um, yes. It, no, it's not worth repeating. Um, it's <coughs> demonstrated that legislative action to change the CPA laws would be required. And I'm sure I said something else in between that and, uh, and noted that the Academy of Music was funded several times. I was trying to sound better than I did. Mm. No, you should be sound better. <laughs> uh, do we have a second for approval of minutes? Any discussion? All in favor? All opposed? Great. Uh, chair's report, I have a couple things. One good and one sad. So I'll start with the sad. Um, Tony, I never did know how to say her last name. Ho Hockstack? Okay. Anyone like that? Who is our housing authority representative has resigned from the committee. No, no offense to any of us. She sent a very nice note to Sarah and myself um, telling us how wonderful we all were, um, or you all were, but I think uh, work and family and all those other life things has gotten in the way. So she is no longer part of the committee. We're fortunate to have Linda doing our housing uh, stuff, um, but Linda's a mayoral point, appointment and we will look to Sarah to help fill the housing authority representative of which they are working on that now. They so are. They are aware they need to come up. Right. I don't so. know if they're going to draw straws or what, but hopefully they can do before the end of this round. Great. Good. So we will, as always, look to Linda for our, and all of us, for our housing stuff, and we'll miss her for, for expertise in that. So that's the sad news. The good news is that um, our uh, fall projects, as recommended, the city council flew through uh, and have been approved, so that's a good thing. There was one dissenting vote on the BBC invasive species removal by the city councilor who has significant uh, qualms about ever using herbicides in a wetland. So I think she's voted maybe two or three times against that. I think, have we funded invasive three times it's Fitzgerald Lake? That wasn't a, uh, we, we have, but this wasn't a Fitzgerald Lake. Oh, this what, what? was, that's coming up this round. This was mineral health. Oh, right. Yes. Are you are open meeting, you guys are coming to school, who that was? Uh, Sarah? Uh, Councilor Klein. Yeah. Councilor Klein? Yeah. And she's, again, as um, I think expressed very uh, passionately her dismay at the use of herbicides in, in weapons. Um, so, as a quick aside digression, I just finished reading again Rachel Carson's Silent Spring, mm -hmm. um, which is very interesting, uh, mainly pesticides but herbicides as well, but Rachel Carson never says that there should not be use of herbicides. It's just like, you know, blanketing the earth with planes dropping herbicides. Is her, her big deal. Anyway, um, so that's it for the chair's report. Uh, next item on the agenda, Sarah has given us our um, applications for this round, of which they are hefty and many and will require uh, vast amounts of... And, and she copied for all of us, so we didn't use our... How do you even physically get them in here? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I, we make applicants do that. It's not, I, 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 I can't get the time, it's just that I get so many things that I'm trying to print at home that I really appreciate. Yes, but this so, uh, a couple things about these. The first two on top are the small grants. 
that we're going to review today. The snow sort of threw everybody's scheduling off, so we couldn't get it done Monday as originally anticipated. Um, and to save you some adding, these are about 1.9 million in requests. We have about 700. 700. 1.9 million. <laughs> and I think 700,000 is less than that, right? <laughs> uh, no problem. Uh, so if we're looking ahead to our, um, on our uh, review schedule, uh, questions to the applicants are due in, to Sarah by 10 o'clock on the 18th which is a week and a day, a week from tomorrow, right? So new folks, what that means is that hopefully at some point you'll have a chance to read these and rather than, we will have a chance to ask applicants face-to-face -face questions, but there's also the opportunity to uh, write out questions in advance and they will respond in advance. So we're able to make, make a little bit better or more efficient use of our time when they're face-to-face -face and having some of these questions answered. So whatever questions you have, and hopefully, and there always are some, getting them to Sarah uh, by a week from tomorrow, the 18th, um, will be great. Sarah sends them out on the 19th. They come back a week later on the 25th, which gives us time to read them before our meeting on the 2nd. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so we do, we do nothing with these tonight other than recognize that we will have our decision making cut out for us with 1.9 million on the table, 700,000 to spend, unless we are, uh, I think, doing some creative financing stuff. Uh, we have two, as Sarah said, the top, the top two uh, applications in our pile are the small grant ones. Um, Sarah sent these out because of the snow day and all, but it didn't come until late this afternoon. So do we need time? So our, our next item on the agenda is to discuss these and make funding recommendations tonight on these two small grants. Have people have, have had a chance yes. to look at them? Yes. No. Okay, so there's a no, a no, a no, yes. a yes. So let's, uh, folks who have read them, I think we should maybe spend a little time reading them, given folks opportunity to read. Does that make sense? I know. Sense. Yes. So um, those of us that have read read them already can feel free to do something else. Sure. So about 10 minutes, will that work? How many numbers are there? Mm -hmm. With pistol. Um, with pistol. Mm -hmm. I have for one upstairs. I can look. Should be mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Rough, rough guess when with the property. A lot. Now, the reason is obviously pertaining to this. Okay. And I'm not abandoning you, but we should be getting a full size mock up of one of their signs. Oh, All right. Yeah. And the camera's still on, so don't say anything terrible about it. Watch us reading for 10 minutes. Turn your TVs off and get away.
Let me get done. David, it's still working. Mm -hmm. Julie, do you know that? Uh, probably got You sure? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So this is our um, second 
go round with our uh, small grants program, so it's still relatively new to all of us here. Uh, keep in mind as we're discussing these two that if we have questions that cannot be answered without anyone here to, to help us out, we can bump them up to the regular pile. So uh, we have two, we have I guess three options, right? One is to approve tonight, the second is to disprove tonight, the third is to move them up into the general pile because we can't make a decision. Is that correct? Is that, does that make sense? Yes. So again, if we if we can't figure things out, if there are questions, we can we can move them up. Uh, does anyone care what we start with? Yes. No. How about sunny side? Uh, the project is the total project request is one thousand one hundred ninety four dollars. Is there a motion on the floor to approve this? And how we've done this, we've made a motion no, and then we've discussed. Discussion, some discussion first rather than doing so. And okay. then we have the motion occur after the Does discussion. that make more sense? Yes? Discuss? Uh, and then a motion? Okay. So discussion. I, I'd like to, the, thought, the, I, the thoughts I have on this is it, it's, it's clearly a very sweet, adorable little project. Um, it doesn't <laughs> cost a lot of money and it would brighten the lives of some little children. Also, the organization itself is recently been displaced by their previous home and on uh, it was on Paradise Road um, and the Smith tore up their building down and, and found them this new um, site and they had to clean out what was previously a, a dog kennel. Uh, so they're, they're nice people and they've done a nice job and, and, and so my initial reaction was aha and um, sure why not. And then then it struck me that basically what this is is a, is a Ground improvement to a small nonprofit. Um, there are, I asked Sarah, I don't know if there's a formal record, but if you look at nonprofits in Northampton that own a little bit of property, uh, there's probably at least 75 to 100, such a work, at least 75 organizations that have some property here in Northampton. And um, I'm sure all of them would like to improve their public appearance. Um, um, and uh, and brighten brighten the community in that process, and I don't know where we stop uh, because it it's public value really just simply is that it makes it a little bit nicer to see as you flash past it at 50 miles an hour um, on uh, on uh, East Hampton Road. So um, I don't I, I have some qualms about it. It, it. It's a it's a sweet little project, but you have to. There's only a certain number of kids who are in the in this this daycare. Um, they are they have to pay tuition to go there. Uh, these are not um, these are not uh, kids who are recipients of special aid or, or of any sort, um, nor do they have special needs of any sort that I know of. Um, and it's it's just a nice a very nice, well-run little daycare center, um, and uh, with a good reputation. So I just I don't know how I justify um, spending almost any money um, in a way on on this. But I feel like a real grinch saying that. <laughs> but you know, it's like at what point do we stop? I mean, there are a lot of. I mean, if, if the children, you know, if if they're think of all the wonderful or nonprofits that are downtown that, that focus on children's welfare or welfare of people with, with um, different you know, uh, uh, disabilities or, or abilities. And, and where do we stop with all of them? Because I'd like to give money to all of them, and we can't. Um, so that, that's my thought. I'm glad you said it, because <laughs> <laughs> I was having the same grinch like I thought that it's a sweet project. But it's very nice what they're doing. I don't see the public benefit. It's a close a close group of people and for access really to support private um, programming really. Sarah, could you phrase her comment to sound like she's more of a Grinch than I am? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, I want to be the primary Grinch. <laughs> 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 you know, an extension no. of this would almost be play equipment inside that the kids are using and that's recreational. And, yeah. You know, it, I, I just don't see the public benefit. Except for the drive by, and you know, that's not sufficient. 
it, it's not because it, it's a it's a daycare center. I I don't think they would really if they were responsible, they really wouldn't encourage strangers stopping and walking <laughs> onto the grounds uh, to admire it. So particularly not you. <laughs> at this point, at this <laughs> sure, particularly not me. Um, but no, to be serious, I, I have nothing to praise for everything I know or have heard about them. But it's it's um, our standards have to be pretty strong as far as meeting public good in order to fund anything. Um, and I just I don't know how we would say no to anybody. There's so many people doing wonderful things in this town. I don't know how we say no to anybody who want to do something similar. Chris, well, just um, nonprofit doesn't mean not private. And right, that's right. just where I go from. And I, to, to me, that automatically elevates it to, to a higher standard. So it doesn't really matter how nice the project is. It's just, it's, you know, we get into that question that we discussed at the last meeting. And I just, I, you know, I'm not, I'm not opposed to, to funding private, grants to private entities, but I, I think we have to work them differently. So I'm perfectly happy joining the Grinch Brigade. <laughs> <laughs> Julia, this is your domain. Comes under recreation. Yeah, community gardens. In quotes. Um, so on with the rentas. Uh, <laughs> the 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 way that we in recreation conceptualize community gardens are the community gardens that we have in existence, where our community accesses and and uses them. This is a very small community and a closed community. So it's hard to. Mm -hmm. We've all come to the same conclusion. I, um, it, it's, it's helping a, a very small, selected group of people, and it's using public money to do it. Mm -hmm. um, I did think about, oh, but we've done playgrounds at Jackson School, and we've done, you know, so we've done other school projects, and so I had to ask myself, what makes those different? And I can remember when we were talking about that playground, we were very clear that the neighborhood used that mm -hmm. playground. And so I think that's where this comes, you know, I'm like you, I love the project, you know, almost want to go take them dirt myself, <laughs> you know? yeah. but I, I think it would be um, a, a hard position to defend to, to questions from the public, you know, mm -hmm. it's a fair question. So. David, anything I add? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm on the same page. I, I guess I, I think if one thing that I think I thought about with you were mentioning Kara as well, I never going to know that well. I was thinking we'd be saying the same things if it was still on Paradise Road, be a lot more passers by, or if it was on Main Street. And just because you drive by at 50 miles an hour, does that change it? I think it does. I mean, I, I, I think it's just completely different. Um, the other thing I think is I have a feeling this is a project that will happen whether we project it. Students yeah. It's the perfect project for a small grant if, if one can string for that. I mean, it's the right. kind of thing I hope to see. And, and, and I totally agree with the community garden. It's not really in good faith in the application yeah. process. So I, would, I would call this, and we're not rejecting it, I just don't think it's eligible. My, my view of it. I, I can agree with you, and I think they could. You know, if they wanted to come back and try again, instead of planning to go on this spring, do it later, mm -hmm. they might think about the, the what, what I saw was really lacking, the element of community support. Mm -hmm. Our community likes it. Mm -hmm. And that's not really community support when we're looking for a public good. So when you're talking about community, tell us about the community that's going to enjoy the greenery or whatever you're planning. Um. I think that's a good point. I, I was wondering if, if, for instance, they came back with a proposal that had, where we weren't funding it entirely, um, uh, but there was some other, you know, contributing entity with that, would you see that building help build that that case for community support? Yeah, possibly, but from, you know, when I was looking for community support, I was thinking about, right, another funding source might be one group that could support it, or perhaps what they might do is 
is reach out to uh -huh. the neighborhood or alumni of Sunnyside, all of whom might want to come and help them in the garden and start to grow some community around that. You know, now it's a greater public good as opposed to a good of the sweet children at Sunnyside daycare. I think the way, I mean, to me, the way that it would be is if we get for approval was if it was part of a larger plan for making East Hampton look more walkable or, right. or it had some greater purpose, which I fully support. Uh, and having you know, gone there and thought about sending my kids to this very school, I thought the 50 miles an hour thing is a, is a major thing to think of that. That's, and that's just, and maybe that's something that people are thinking about, just not in here at all. I would be hesitant to encourage him to come back because I think it's still the, the piece I have with it isn't how it's presented, it's the public funds going for a very limited scope of, of involvement. And I tried in my head to even run it past the, oh well, but the families get, you know, I mean, the numbers are not just the students, but it still is. I mean, if, even if they had, if they were all Syrian refugees, I'd probably give you and, and say, you know, this is something. But, I mean, it's, it's, it's a, the list is endless. I mean, I, uh, other than Smith College, I would expect every other nonprofit in the city to then line up for <coughs> improvement of their front frontage. Yeah, no, I, I viewed it as recreation. I didn't, I, I didn't take offense with, you know, building improvement. It was just, it was just really who was getting the benefit. Other discussion? So, would someone like to make a motion? I move we do not approve the small grant application for Sunnyside Is there a second? Second. second. All in favor? All opposed? So unanimous. <coughs> Sarah, as always, you will send a letter on to I will do that. Thank you very much. Um, so the second one is the uh, Leeds walking tour no I'll put this on the board. So they provided, this is just one example, but this is the, the correct size. So probably the which, which one is that? Is that? So it's, this is an example of one of the size. I believe it's the one at the A. Yeah. 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 Uh, so discussion on this. Thank you for putting that up. Yes. Um, first off, I would just note that, that my signature is in this packet because uh, as chair of the historical commission, we, the historical commission did review this and, and approve it. So um, it's value to the city. I just want to say personally, this is this is the kind of project that shows the level of true civic mindedness and uncompensated. People doing good work because they're proud of the community they live in, not just the community, but the little subsection of the community they live in. And they're doing it because they love it. And and they've done some really good um, research uh, on the history of Leeds and, and trying to keep alive uh, facts about that area that are unknown uh, or forgotten to, to many uh, residents. And are, are proposing now to um, to put up some uh, durable uh, and very informative plaques that will help um, uh, explicate that history uh, to anyone who's walking in the area. So to me, it seems like a doable, uh, practical, and informative project. Uh, it doesn't cost a lot of money, um, and that, that uh, will help anyone uh, local or visiting who goes to that area. And um, uh, it is, uh, um, it benefits from the from modern technology that allows photographs like that to be uh, printed in metal in such a way that, that it's very very durable. Uh, it's not just a photograph under under plastic glass, and um, um, it, it it's the, the mountings are durable. They're not going to be knocked over by some kid on a bicycle, and um, uh, and it, it also it, you know it's our way of encouraging uh, an extraordinary. Kind of things. It's the sort of effort that makes you know a person proud to live in North Hampton uh, to see people you know, really celebrating the, their uh, their heritage. Any comments? I think it's great. I'm not funded. I think it's perfect. The small grants. I think it's a great project. Yeah. Well, yeah. I would add one thing. I went to the Mill River um, meeting that was over in Florence 
think it was last week or maybe the week before. And uh, it was a well-attended meeting. It was well-run. It was the Conway School giving a presentation about what they wanted to get from community uh, involvement in how that expansion of the Greenway should it, should go. And there were people, there were every community had they, they did a showing of hands, and it was Northampton, Florence, Leeds, Ashfield, Goshen, Williamsburg, Haydenville, and so uh, they had it, it was impressive. And so I'm, I'm like you, I it's the perfect project when we were talking about small grants. Any other discussion? Is there a motion? I'd like to move to we approve this project. Second. Any further discussion? All in favor? Oh, yeah. All right. All opposed? All right. Uh, new folks, it's never this easy with the previous. <laughs> <laughs> no, that. Wow, that was pretty. Are you now? No. Almost. But that was pretty quick. So All just right. The, the timeline for that one, so. I'll bring a city council resolution to the next meeting, unless everybody just wants me to just trust me and wants me to write it and bring it to council. Oh no, I do. A, I do a comment. It's not. I was changing one's vote. I just think it's really a good thing that they point out all the in-kind labor that's already yeah. been done mm -hmm. and quantified it. It makes me wonder if there's actually already holes out there. Uh, yeah, yeah. That they've already done. With that group, they almost could be. Right. <laughs> And the other thing I'll say is as we're walking through the Nolder Burden and interpreting it on your own, I, I do think we should be aware of the creative efforts that were stifling by actually giving people real information about what's there. You know, we're all just <laughs> We should uh, uh, allow the mythical things. <laughs> that, there's other parts that are... There, there were some uh, residents uh, along the new path extension that thought it had been uh, excessively signed. Mm. And they had gotten Wayne out to walk down and see if some of them were not necessary. Um, but I think this is, comes in another whole different category. This is not, you know, park your bike here. Right. Oh, this category. is great. Um, and I thought that for the small grant, I don't think we ought to expect them to be this well done. Um, yeah. Some nice applications very very held up against the big ones. So what, what are our options? Uh, so... I'm going to try and figure out the council schedule. Um, I, so we could do a, um, I could send around a council order for review at the next meeting, if that makes sense to everybody. It's only going to change the schedule by about a week. Yeah. Or I could write one and, and bring it. Or we I could write one. Be digging holes and yeah, I don't, I don't. So either way is going to be. Although, wait, I, I changed that though. They might have good reason to get the sign work started so that they can work as right. soon as possible. Mm -hmm. I was talking about they had money to the deposit to get it started. Where, where is that card? Does someone know where the timeline is? I think it's on the sheriff's computer because she's looking at this. No, it's on page 6. Yeah, it's on the sheriff's computer. Yeah, it's on the sheriff's computer. They want to put the order out in February. The end of oh, so, oh, so design work is complete. Okay, we have oh, it here. Okay. All right. I'm sorry. So we're so where are you reading? On page six of the. Uh, so the question is by by not well, we don't need to get until March. If we were to wait, would that? I'm still not planning. I. Would it that does say that Brian, the supporting organizations are able to provide deposits necessary for the work order to. At the bottom of page six. Yeah, so, oh, yeah. so if we do it at the March meeting, that this will be approved by council by the end of March. And that will be fine. So I think yeah. we'd rather have that. Yeah, it that seems that it's running to their schedule. And, and their and their other funding available. Is there a way that you can contact them and make sure that that doesn't screw them up too much? Uh, if it does, I don't have much of a choice. I mean, at that point, because there's no committee to speak to, I said, okay, well, I'm sorry, you have to wait. Okay. Um, so we're comfortable with, ha with having them wait so that we can have that final count of that. Yes? I think I would rather do that because that's a little more control over the process. I will send that out okay. prior to the next meeting. Good, thank you. Anything else on that? 
All right. So um, we got by Sarah the six, is it, projects that we funded in the first round? Is it six? Uh, and we need very briefly to go through and approve these. Um, MOU. The MOUs. The MOUs. And with particular attention to the um, to whether we're satisfied, correct with the uh, specific conditions. Do we have a chance still to revise those, Sarah? Yes. Yes, we do. Is there interest in having these up on the screen? I could do that fairly easily. If there is. Um, so new folks, we're not really not looking at the entire grant. It's sort of boilerplate. Right. But at the end of some of them, there are conditions specific to, and that's what we were really uh, focusing on here. I, I don't know if we need to put them up, do we? I think they are pretty short. Um, uh, maybe if we go just real briefly through them all, and then we'll make a motion to accept all of them, uh, going through each one. Does that make sense? Yes? Yes, although I do have a couple of questions for Sarah about the board of Yes, yeah, so why don't you start with that? Thank you, our lawyers on, st on uh, the board. Um, so Sarah, on the, on the contract, of, uh, we, we redid this, but I think it was before the charter change. And I just, I just don't know, I'm asking um, whether this is still, or, right, there's a reference here to being executed by the Northampton Community Preservation Committee, and I didn't think we did that any longer. Uh, it should still be fine. We haven't gotten any new template contracts for other purposes, so this shouldn't affect that. If for some reason the city auditors get you back and say you can't do this, then then I can I I can just make an administrative change at that point. But it it, it should be fine. It also talks about acting through the community preservation committee, and I, I mean there is no signature page for us any longer, right? That was taken Correct. out. Correct. Seems like we're but acting through city council. We're just recommending to them, and they're actually so it, It's set up this way so that the committee retains review over this, so that it doesn't go back to council if there's an issue because council isn't really involved in the details. <coughs> Thank you. Anything else with it? Yeah. Uh, no. Uh, so maybe we could just race through them probably reasonably quickly um, in no particular order. Uh, the Pulaski Park. Uh, really, there's, there's just not much there, right? In terms of uh, condition specific. Is there anything people wish to add on that? I think the language in paragraph three is shall use the funds for costs related to continued renovations. So it's a very vague thing. Um, rather than specifically defining what it specific as, 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 to, as to where it goes. Any comments on Pulaski Park? Can we move along? Yeah. yeah. Uh, historic Northampton. Did we have conditions on that? Uh, I had no special conditions. I saw no no special ones on that either. Is it just assumed that they will be restored to the historic preservation standards as possible as opposed to the here? I thought in the past we had it was sometimes we had language saying you must these two certain acts. Did, have we done that, David? Say it one more time. For specific historic renovation projects, yeah. having them accountable to a certain the National Historic Registry or something. Yeah, we, we could reference the Secretary of the Interior standards. Because we've done that before, we correct? Have, yeah. And do you do we need to look at specific language now for that? Uh, we could just say all work shall be done in accordance with the Secretary of the Interior Standards for Rehabilitation of Historic Properties. Does that sound good? That sounds <laughs> really yeah. impressive to just look at that. That satisfies you, Devin? Uh -huh. <coughs> I really don't think that 
Anything else on uh, <coughs> historic Northampton? And as we, you may have noticed, or maybe not, they are back again in the next round for the barn. The uh, Middle Hills Habitat uh, Project, which is the grass and brushland habitat removal of non-natives. Um, again, no no specific conditions. Down? Did you say something? No? Anything on this? We need to, in the past, we've talked about public accessibility, um, but um, that's almost, I'm not sure that needs to be said because it's not a matter. All right, it's public land already. Yeah. Um, uh, nowhere to be say that. Sarah, your we, thoughts? We, we did. Do we have in there? The oh, that's our small grant one. That's yeah, and one. it's it's been not an acquisition project, but this one's already been acquired. I don't know that that would what be about much. What um, uh, about signage that it's a CPA project? Uh, what do we say of signage? Do we have something? How do you sign restoration? How do you put a sign up when you restore grass and brushland habitat and remove? Um, to be honest, you put up a sign. Um, it varies according to the location. Uh, okay. We put up plaques, we put up wooden carved signs, we put up coverage, and we put up banners. Um, but basically, there's a requirement under CPA that CPA projects be signed uh, so that the public knows what their money is going toward. So um, it could be a right. small sign that says, you know, this area is. Uh, uh, work in work in this area is supported by. If it's if it's a if it's a um, if it's something that's not visible to the eye, um, you know, then it's something that maybe could be a small band, a temporary banner or something. Um, but um, uh, people have generally appreciated more where their money was going. So, and it's actually, it's actually also required. We made that the chair's prerogative to, to decide what form it takes. Um, Are you being facetious or have we, do we really do that? Um, we don't always require a permanent signage for every project. I mean, there's, a, there's a small sign here that already credits the CPA for the purchase, but this would be a, I mean, it's a different activity. There's a CPA sign now, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Not with a specific activity, just with the overall acquisition of the project. Okay. Yeah, that's what I was yeah. thinking. That the EPA wood signs that we put up at Fitzgerald, you know, yeah. they, they, that's the place for. Yeah, that's like that, that was my misunderstanding. I, I, I understood that you were asking for the sign to say, and now we've also taken yeah, out the like, well, well, okay. I don't know if Downey told you this, but it is your broader uh, there to uh, determine the form and and, and uh, nature of the signs. Because it, going back to the um, <coughs> the historic. Uh, Northampton thing prior to final claimant, the grantee shall install a permanent plaque, the wording and placement of which shall be mutually agreeable with grantor and grantee acknowledge and use of CPA funds. So we do have that down for certain ones, just not for this one because it's already okay. Good to go on Mineral Hills? Okay. Fitzgerald Lake uh, Bridge and Rehab. Uh, so one work in this one. There's a plaque um, assigned, by the way, for this one. One quirk. There is a small quirk to make life easier for everybody, hopefully. Is this thing like inserting specific requirements? So, so under um, on the first page under the insert specific requirements for timing of payments. So we have the standard language, and then it says accept as follows: Broadbrook Coalition may assign CPA funds to the City of Northampton Office of Planning and Sustainability, and that is in there because it was extremely difficult for Broadbrook Coalition to comply with all the um, procurement requirements. So it was easier for them just to say, here is all of our money. You, you can do all of that. And we'll still we'll still oversee the project, but you will pay the invoices for you. 
So it's the same project, it's just who's writing the check. Great, and uh, there's actually a banner and a sign for this one. So there you go, David. Anything else on this? Yeah, just a quick question for Sarah. This, the description is the bridge boardwalk and dock, and I thought that um, the project had been more restricted because it was grand. The recreational trails grant was a little more restricted. I think they ended up just saying that everything that they were doing was eligible, but we didn't have any restrictions in, in our votes about that. I guess we're not, we're not put, this reads almost as if we're expecting them to do all of that work with our 30,000. Oh, I see. Um, uh, yeah, I didn't intend it to read that way. It was, they could use all of our money for any one of those things. Is there language you'd like to see with the, the, what are we, the fourth paragraph down on the first page? Yeah, or? it's a little hard to make it read right. So, so your issue is the, uh, whatever type of grant that they got, it, it's not just our money, it's somehow incorporated? Right? No, I thought their, and I, uh, maybe I'm misremembering, I thought their grant was specific, and you're saying it was not? Yeah, it was initially. And then the, the funding agency went back and looked at it and took their, their restriction off. They were thinking, well, we can only fund, I, I don't remember what part it was, we can only fund yeah, the doctor, we can we only fund something. something. And, they and then, but then when they got that else. initial, when they got an initial grant and then the, the, the federal agency said, well, well, we'll look at this again. And if we agree that it's eligible, then we'll give you this extra 10,000, which they did. Okay, then, then, then my comment doesn't <coughs> change that. Good to go with this? Yeah. Uh, the Rocky Hills uh, acquisition. Uh, so we do have a few on the last page. We do have some condition specific. One is the uh, conservation restriction held by a third party. We do not stipulate that third party. Is that correct, sir? We do not. Uh, CPA signage. Is there a recommendation? Or who who is city? Is the city going to? This one was uh, this one was proposed to be Mass Auto because they were doing it for free. Okay. And who is it that's charging this Castro? Uh, Castro Life. Yeah. And I hadn't heard this language. It those either on page three, the last specific condition. Um, Conscom shall sponsor a zoning change to rezone the parcel as farms, forests, and rivers. What did we come up with that? Yeah. So that, that was added as a standard condition for acquisition projects. Farms, forests, and rivers is the most restrictive zoning district. Oh. Oh. Sir, can you, <coughs> I, my memory doesn't serve, can you remind me whether uh, there's any compensation provided to third party um, um, holders for, um, of, of uh, conservation restrictions? There is if they require it, because there is an ongoing cost associated with doing that monitoring. In this case, Matt Baldwin was so excited about having this protected that they said we'll do it for free. Okay. No problem. That's our contribution. <coughs> Thank you. <coughs> uh, good to go? Yeah? Uh, let's see. So the um, Gateway, <coughs> what's it called? Greenway Riverfront <coughs> Park. Um, that's the signage, right? The five thousand for the um, for the gate, not the signage. Um, you know, that, well, there is that one specific agreement, which is the parties involved in management of the site develop a written agreement regarding use of the gate. Mm -hmm. Remember, we spent a lot of time thinking about that. We're good with that language. Yes? Folks who were here before? Mm -hmm. Folks who weren't, it's just too complicated. I was going to say, quickly, <laughs> what's the issue? <laughs> the issue is there are multiple, so there's Riverfront Park, uh, there are multiple uh, par uh, parties that have a, a stake in the operation. There's the construction company, there's uh, the Northampton Rowing, and then there's the city, and then there's who's the fourth? 
the the guy who's in between River Run condos and this this property. Yeah. So it's very sort of complicated. The sign issue is convoluted. So this is an attempt to uh, figure out who's going to lock the gate, who's going to open the gate, all of those things. Um, but clear, but we felt clearly they needed a new gate. So in a nutshell, that's it. Okay. And, so. and I know that conversation has already started with this recreation. Okay. Anything else on this one? All right, one more, last one. Uh, the clock. Your, your favorite. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so our only really specific language is uh, on page three. Ultimately, it's called the highly visible public downtown location. So we did not specifically state Pulaski Park. Is that correct? We said they could put it anywhere, and we're good with that. Yes. Um, anything else on this one? All right, so is there a motion to uh, approve all of these contracts to go to Sarah to, to do what needs to be done? All in favor? All opposed? All right. Oh, yeah, no second. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, we are zipping, folks. Um, the CPC re uh, project review schedule. Sarah sent um, that out. Yeah. So I guess really the the only thing that needs to be finalized is the um, the review date, not the review date, the uh, the site visit date. If you want to do that at this time. Uh, <clears throat> so we've not had a chance to look at any of the applications. Well, I, you and I sort of glanced at them, uh, so it's unclear how many of these um, require potential site visits. Do you, do you know that? Um, does that matter? Should we just try to set a date anyway? So new folks, again, we have an option as a committee. We've done this generally Saturday mornings, but I think we've done it at various times. Yeah to visit some of these parcels with um, the interested parties who give us a little tour or help us point out special features or whatever. Uh, not, not, I don't think it's ever been a, a case where all of us have come. It's your own schedules, and, but it's nice to have at least a few folks go to, to uh, get the lay of the land. Um, so... Many of these are repeats that I... <laughs> but new folks but very well might be. Well, well, I, I love safe visits. Yeah. And I, I know that Black Park is something that people have seen a lot, but I'm not only for my own education, but just people might ask me questions and I want to be able to answer the questions. Yeah. Uh, so. And plus it's different now yeah. than it was. You might all want to go. Oh, sure, you must have extensive plans up on the second floor. Does it make sense to come up with a date at this point? Or just maybe think about it and send an email and we can put some dates that you're interested. I know First Churches is having a tour, or they did have a tour. No, it's uh, Friday. Is it this Friday? Yeah, Friday afternoon. I think there's a recital. Mm -hmm. They talked about it at 6 and 6.30. They're going to have a little talk in Oregon. Mm -hmm. That's a big proposal, too. What is that, $600,000 or something? Uh, $300,000. $300, $300, $300. So I want to stay in glass. Um, so what are we doing? We're wait, we're we're thinking about this, proposing a date, sending it in to Sarah. Um, it could be a Saturday morning. Some of these could be a weekday evening as well. If we're inside at the academy, we're inside at um, First Church. We should do it all in one day. I think it's, it would be. I've uh, done it multiple days, and, and yeah. again, it fits some people's schedules and it doesn't others. Uh, how about we look at our calendars and send dates on to Sarah? Yeah, and let me know which ones you're interested in. Like, so, uh, some of them wouldn't, obviously, on themselves. Um, some of them may be weather dependent. Mm -hmm. 
I don't want to go walk around on the cliffs on Robert at the moment. No, that would be an IC. If someone would pull the sled with me sitting at that, that's fine. Sarah, you can do that. Okay. Thank you. Uh, okay, so we're gonna we're gonna look at our schedules, uh, look at the proposals, see which ones we're interested in visiting, and send those on to Sarah in the next. Couple but, of weeks. Is there any regulation about going there? Then? I think we've done that before, right, Sarah? We made individual appointments. Yes, yeah, no, that's absolutely okay. Yeah, you, it's clear what you're looking at. Yeah. 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 Can you take a moment? I think. Why don't you wait until we Let's see, see, it, see it. if the group thing, because we are taking their time. Sure. Um, to deal with stuff. So if it doesn't work in your schedule, though, I don't I think it's perfectly legitimate. Uh, I mean, I don't have a specific. So, so that's the main thing is we're looking at uh, uh, other site visits to schedule. We're good to go. Yeah. So there's no meeting in in a week from today, because many of you will be away in wonderful places. Uh, so the next meeting will be March 2nd. March what? March 2nd. And again, Sarah sent this out, not in this last email cluster or attachment cluster, but the one before that, so folks. So the next two meetings, March 2nd, uh, where I will not be here, you get to meet John. Uh, we and don't like that, Sarah. We'd like to vote, I would like to propose that we censor Sarah's vacation plans or whatever it is that you're doing. Yeah. And that's very disturbing. We don't want to meet new people. I feel like I'm too old to make new friends. And then uh, March 6th. So those those two meetings. Well, geez, these three are just going to be sitting here. You're mostly just talking to Adam. For me, what will we be doing on the 2nd? Uh, 2nd and 16th are both meeting with, meetings with Adam. Which will be Sorry, pretty cool. Questions, Questions are due? Yeah. I think you just said this. Uh, they are due. I might be back on it. Okay. February 18th. A week from tomorrow. So that's the big thing for us, is getting questions into Sarah in a, in a week. So that's a lot of, a lot of reading. Take the small one now. I don't know. One of mine came out of Staples. Oh, gee. Sure. Oh, yeah. Okay. We have to go on the schedule. There's, uh, I think there's 10. If you do that, that's all. Yeah. Oof. I have a paper clip for you. It would be very helpful. Candy, paper clips. All right, business stuff. Other business not foreseen when agenda was published. I just, can I just add that I, I encourage River Life is, is not only the title of the Springsteen concert going on tonight in, 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 in uh, Hartford, but also the name of the stained glass window um, in uh, First Churches. And uh, it, it's a remarkable piece. If, um, if you haven't seen it, I certainly uh, would encourage you to. Uh, to stop in uh, some point during the day and take a look at it, just uh, because this is a little way to describe it appropriately on, on uh, paper without you know, taking a look at it. Have, uh, have we funded some portion of preservation there? For yes, we funded the, the commission. I, I go back that far. The commission funded an extensive renovation of the interior of the main. Um, what do you call it? So uh, we take that all the of, of the, the interior of the building because. Um, because it needed it, but also particularly because it served the, uh, the community so extensively in the various uh, groups uh, who met there, both uh, uh, secular and uh, sometimes religious, but um, particularly the secular operations of, of that church, was, it really served a role um, far beyond that of a regular church. It was more like a meeting house in, in, in the middle of town. And um, uh, because of that, and because of its historic, the quality of the interior, the of the decoration, we did fund the, the uh, renovation. And remember, it was the River of Life that they wanted to sell that we were so upset about. And yeah, that, that impacted MH, uh, MHC's decision making because as part of the restoration there was a condition put on that they nothing would you know they couldn't sell the church they couldn't um, you know they didn't have to maintain anything and so forth so that I'm not not prejudging what the MHC would have done if, if we hadn't done the prior uh, grant but it certainly um, I think inf influenced their decision this time. 
certainly worthy of a site visit. Just take a look at the artwork there. Just for yourself. Any other business not foreseen when agenda was published? Is it moved to adjourn? Second. Signify by standing. <laughs>